Jimmy Uso turns on his brother Jay Uso at SummerSlam. Bold predictions for WWE SummerSlam 2023. L.A. Knight to do inappropriate thing in front of fans on WWE TV. Injured WWE star returns at SummerSlam. Backstage report on plans for Brock Lesnar's match at WWE SummerSlam. Why is Vince McMahon currently on leave from WWE? Roman Reigns uses his backstage power to stop Kobe Rhodes from beating him at WrestleMania, and more. Let's jump right into it. Bold predictions for WWE SummerSlam 2023. WB SummerSlam is just around the corner. The biggest party of the summer is set to stream on Saturday, August 5th, beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a one-hour kickoff special airing at 7. There's a lot of hype going into the event. According to WrestleTix, SummerSlam has sold over 48,000 tickets, with more recently going on sale. That means there's a chance that the company will manage to bring in 50,000 fans for their second biggest event of the year. That number is virtually unheard of. Eight big-time bouts are already confirmed for the event, and there's always a chance the card could grow. Whether it does or not, the company's official are likely looking to make a major splash in Detroit. This piece will look at some possible surprises that will leave the fans at Ford Field overwhelmed, excited, and begging for more. Meanwhile, the audience worldwide will freak out on social media. What major moments and outcomes may go down in Detroit? Here are five bold predictions for WWE SummerSlam 2023. Number five, Kerry Sane could return to WWE to confront Asuka or Rhea Ripley. Kerry Sane is a New Japan and Stardom star, but WWE fans are familiar with her too. Before returning to Japan, Kerry was a former NXT NXT Women's Champion and Tag Team Champion. There's a chance that Kerry can return to confront either Rhea Ripley or Asuka. The Empress of Tomorrow is set to defend her WWE Women's Championship against Bianca Belair and Charlotte Flair in a triple threat match, saying could make her presence known post-match. An impromptu bout with Rhea is also possible. It isn't unreasonable to expect the Pirate Princess back in a WWE ring. Earlier this year, Kerry Sane discussed things she still hopes to achieve in the company. Beyond that, she is a free agent, meaning she could technically be signed anytime. Number 4. Cody Rhodes will beat Brock Lesnar in a fairly dominant fashion. One of the biggest bouts at SummerSlam is a match between Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes. The two stars have had a heated feud dating back to the night after WrestleMania, where Lesnar viciously assaulted Cody. The American Nightmare battled the Beast on two occasions, at least in an official capacity. Rhodes managed to win the first bout but ended up losing to Lesnar in their second match. Despite each picking up a victory, neither match was decisive thanks to a quick pin and an injury going into the contest. When the two collide at SummerSlam, not only will Cody win, but he will do so decisively. In fact, the American Nightmare may shock the world and force Brock Lesnar to tap out his payback for the constant attacks on his arm courtesy of the Beast. Number 3. Bray Wyatt will finally appear again. The most controversial. Fans either love or despise the creepy superstar and his compelling manner of speaking, often littered with riddles. The Eater of Worlds hasn't been seen since before WrestleMania 39. Information on his absence has been relatively limited, but it is said that Wyatt has some health issue that hasn't been publicly released. While Wyatt's physical or mental struggles are not anybody's business, fans are still eager to see him return to WWE. SummerSlam would be the perfect avenue for Bray to show off his haunting and captivating persona. Could he shockingly attack a top star? Could a video package air in his honor? Either way, he may return. Number 2. Finn Balor will shockingly dethrone Seth Rollins. Another major bout set to take place at WWE SummerSlam is Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. The visionary is set to defend his coveted World Heavyweight Championship, but could a title change be on the horizon? Balor defeated Seth at SummerSlam 2016. It would be an appropriate place for Finn to win a major world title once again. Beyond that, his Judgment Day stablemates all have gold or money in the bank briefcase. Finn winning the belt will genuinely cement their dominance. Of course, Finn wouldn't have to beat the World Heavyweight Champion cleanly. The likes of Rhea Ripley, Dominic Mysterio, and Damian Priest could intervene on behalf of the Prince and help crown him the new King of Raw. Number 1. Nick Aldis will debut in some form. Nick Aldis is one of the best unsigned wrestlers in the world. While he's never been signed to WWE, he has worked for Impact Wrestling, the National Wrestling Alliance, and various other promotions promotions worldwide. Unfortunately, the National Treasure recently revealed that he couldn't honor his upcoming bookings due to a back injury. While most fans have wished him well in his recovery, others feel the story may be a cover-up for an impending WWE debut. The injury story could be a misdirect and Aldis will actually debut at the biggest party of the summer to the shock of many in the audience. Alternatively, even if the injury is legitimate, he could still debut via promo or video package of some kind. LA Knight doesn't think it's fair to compare him to current champion. LA Knight is one of the most popular superstars in WWE right now. He recently commented on why he shouldn't be compared to Sami Zayn and Brian Danielson for his rise in the company. One half of the current undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions became massively over with the fans after turning on the bloodline this year. He received a huge ovation at Elimination Chamber, which took place in his hometown of Montreal. Meanwhile, Danielson was also over with the crowd several years ago during his time in WWE. His rise got into the main event of WrestleMania 30, where he won the world title. Speaking to WES in a recent interview, LA Knight stated, 
that his rise in WWE isn't the same as Sami Zayn's or Brian Danielson, as they both already won championships in the company before they became super popular. Well, you know, look, and not to take anything away from the names that you named, Sami Zayn, Daniel Bryan, all those guys, they did amazing things to get that kind of reaction, but at the same time, I think in a weird way, you can't even compare their thing to mine only because they had already been established. They had already had runs as champion, whether it was tag team champion, intercontinental champion, US champion, whatever it was, they had runs, whereas I am completely out of the gate for most of this audience since October, said LA Knight. He added, brand new and so with that in mind to look at all the things that have happened and to be in the spots that I've been in and to make the most of that time and those minutes and to come from something that you're talking about the Max Dupree thing and to come out of that and then to be where I'm at now in all honesty should never happen. On last week's episode of SmackDown, it was announced that the Megastar will be a participant in the first ever Slim Jim SummerSlam Battle Royal. Another name that has been announced for the bout is Sheamus. It was also revealed that the two stars will face each other in a singles match on the upcoming episode of Friday Night Show. On this week's WWE Raw, Otis, Chad Gable, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Tommaso Ciampa were also announced as participants, joining former Million Dollar Champion and the Celtic Warrior. LA Knight is the favorite to win the Battle Royal, as a large number of the WWE Universe is behind him. Do you think LA Knight should get a title run in WWE? Stound off in the comments below. LA Knight to do an appropriate thing in front of fans on WWE TV. Legendary wrestling manager Jim Cornette says LA Knight should do something embarrassing in the ring to show how over he is with the crowd. The megastar is one of the most popular wrestlers in the entire industry right now despite being a heel. He gets a huge reaction whenever he shows up on TV, and he was the favorite to win this year's men's money in the bank contract. Fans also wanted him to win the tournament and become the number one contender for the United States Championship, but that didn't happen either. On the latest edition of the Jim Cornette drive through the wrestling veteran reviewed L.A. Knight roasting Hit Row on SmackDown last week and defeating Shant the Adonis. He stated that the 40-year-old is so over he would get a big pop from the crowd if he just came out to the ring and let one rip into the mic. I think he should come out, bend over, and fart into the microphone and let the people give him a standing ovation just to prove he can do it. No, I'm serious. If he just came out and said, let me talk to you. I want to prove a point and bend over and fart into the microphone. I guarantee you the place will blow. He would fart into the microphone and the people would blow and give him a standing ovation and he would point three times L.A. Knight, yeah, and he'd leave, said Cornette. Last week on the Blue Brand, it was announced that Slim Jim SummerSlam Battle Royal will take place at the premium live event for the first time ever. L.A. Knight and Sheamus were the first people confirmed for the match. The two stars are also set to collide in a one-on-one -on -one match on SmackDown tonight. Many fans want the megastar to win the Battle Royal as he is immensely popular right now. It'll be interesting to see what the company has in store for him in the future. Do you think L.A. Knight should take Jim Cornette's advice? Sound off in the comments below. Injured WWE star returns at SummerSlam. Seth Rollins is all set to defend his World Heavyweight Championship against Finn Balor at SummerSlam this weekend. It's possible the champion could get an unexpected assist from an injured WWE star against the Judgment Day. The star in question is Kevin Owens. The prize fighter is currently out of action with a legitimate injury. Owens and Sami Zayn were in an alliance with Seth Rollins prior to the injury. He could show up at SummerSlam to help Rollins fend off Finn Balor and the Judgment Day. WWE turned Kevin Owens' injury into a storyline several weeks ago on Raw. The the former Universal Champion was jumped by Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest during Sami Zayn's match against NXT North American Champion Dominic Mysterio. The distraction allowed Dominic to retain his title against one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions. The injury to Owens forced Zayn to team up with Seth Rollins on the July 31, 2023 episode of Monday Night Raw. Priest tried to cash in his money in the bank contract on Rollins, but Finn Balor's hesitation prevented the win. The distraction allowed Rollins to hit the curb stomp on Priest, busting open the Archer of Infamy in the process. Seth Rollins told Logan Paul a couple of weeks ago he has been working through injuries. The drip god said the injuries have been bugging him, but he's trying to avoid surgery. Triple H could book him to lose the title at SummerSlam due to his injuries. It is possible Rollins could take some time off from active in-ring competition to heal his body. Balor is the most logical pick to win the title from him due to their history together. The rivalry dates back to the 2016 iteration of the biggest party of the summer. It remains to be seen who will come out as the winner this Saturday at Ford Field in Detroit. What's your take on this story? Let us know in the comments section below below. Backstage report on plans for Brock Lesnar's match at WWE SummerSlam. Brock Lesnar will enter WWE SummerSlam to face Cody Rhodes in the third match of their feud. On previous occasions, the latter has picked up one win, while Lesnar has also picked up one. It all comes down to this match between them to decide what's next. Now, reports have emerged about the stipulations, or the lack of them, for the bout. Since it's the third match in a heated rivalry, there's usually some stipulation, but that's not been the case. There had been rumors of the same a few months back, and apparently a dog collar match idea was proposed and shot down. 
down. As it turns out, these rumors were not true, and it was never on the card. According to reports by Fightful Select, there had never been actual plans for Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes to have a stipulation for their third match. The idea was broached to the point where it was asked if the match needed a stipulation, and it was agreed that it did not. After that, it was never brought up again. The only way a stipulation is added to the match now is if something changes. It remains to be seen if Brock Lesnar can get the win or if Cody can pull back a win despite his injuries at the hand of Lesnar. You want the SummerSlam match have a stipulation? Sound off in the comments section below. Why is Vince McMahon currently on leave from WWE? WWE Chairman Vince McMahon has been in the news a lot lately. A wrestler allegedly quit the company because of his return. He had major surgery and federal law enforcement agents sent him a subpoena. When news broke that McMahon is taking a leave of absence, many wondered if it was due to the potential legal trouble he might find himself in. However, according to WWE's official filings and an internal statement sent to employees, that is not the case. Vince believes you will not face any legal action. Instead, McMahon's leave of absence is due to a serious surgery he recently underwent. According to reports, the surgery was intensive and lasted for around five hours. The focus of the procedure was the spine. Nick Khan and other WWE officials later confirmed McMahon's leave of absence. No timetable has been given regarding how long he may be away. Vince doesn't typically travel with the company any longer, but he does appear at the corporate headquarters regularly and attends television tapings if they're held locally. Many fans will be relieved to hear that the 77-year-old may be taking a leave of absence from the company, especially after recent reports. The company chairman has allegedly put his thumb down on the stable set to reform. The way has been teasing an official run on WWE's main roster for quite some time. The faction formed on NXT and took off during the pandemic. Over time, however, the group split up thanks to releases, pregnancy, contracts expiring, and other issues. Now that Dexter Loomis, Johnny Gargano, Indy Hartwell, and Candice Larray are all on Raw together, the move felt inevitable. According to Scene Ross Sapp, however, the reunion was scrapped. This move left many fans outraged. Many fans also believe that the Hurt Business teases that went nowhere earlier this year resulted from McMahon's whim. Still, Ross did say that with McMahon's surgery, there's a chance that the way plans could still come to fruition. With potential legal issues, health concerns, and McMahon's advanced age, it remains to be seen if any changes in his absence are a short-term band-aid that he'll rip off upon returning or something while lasting. Roman Reigns uses his backstage power to stop Cody Rhodes from beating him at WrestleMania. Roman Reigns certainly has backstage pull considering the fact that he has been the company's central star for over eight years now. Wrestling veteran Vince Russo thinks that Reigns should use his backstage pull to scrap the current plans that could lead to the end of his title run. On the latest episode of Writing with Russo, former WWE writer Vince Russo spoke in detail about why he feels Cody Rhodes isn't the right man to dethrone the tribal chief at WrestleMania 40, with the two rumored to be facing each other in a rematch next year. Russo stated that if it were up to him, a Bloodline member who we haven't seen before should be the one to end his run, concluding the story as a family affair. The veteran said that if he was Roman Reigns, he would use the stroke backstage power. He has to keep the Bloodline story within the Anoa'i family, rather than having an outsider like Cody Rhodes end it. If I'm Roman Reigns and I've got all the stroke that I've got and there are more family members climbing the ladder that are very young, I'm saying we're keeping the storyline in the family. He's got enough stroke, bro. That's what I would do. As mentioned earlier, Reigns undeniably has backstage power especially considering that he has been the modern locker room leader. However, in 2020 during his hiatus, he put his foot down with Vince McMahon to demand a heel turn, that he requested the heel turn himself. So, it was one of those things where it was like, man, I want to do this because I know I can tap into a different level of character work. I know I can create so many more layers as a performer if they allow me to do this, but the numbers just wouldn't let me. When the opportunity came, I jumped on it. It was kind of a team discussion. Obviously, you might have the big man involved and God have the blessing for him, but it just all seemed to work out with perfect timing, said Roman Reigns, in hindsight, it was the best decision he could have made. Jimmy Uso turns on his brother Jay Uso at SummerSlam. Jay Uso is set for the biggest match of his career as he takes on Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at SummerSlam. However, reports suggest that his twin brother Jimmy might be the one to cost him the championship by turning heel. Jimmy and Jay Uso revolted against the tribal chief Roman Reigns and as a result had to pay the price. Solo Sikoa and Reigns took out Jimmy. However, Jay swore vengeance and challenged Reigns to tribal combat at SummerSlam. The former has been a solid hand since he became part Part of the bloodline angle, and many believe he should dethrone Reign. If Jimmy Uso returns at SummerSlam and tries to cost his brother the championship, Jay Uso's old friend turned foe turned friend Sami Zayn could interfere in the match, preventing him from doing the unthinkable. His help could lead to Jay capitalizing and defeating Reigns. As it is, Zayn is not on the SummerSlam card since his tag team partner Kevin Owens is out with an injury, and this would be the perfect way to showcase him. While the current tag team champion does not belong to the Simone dynasty, he was an essential member of the bloodline for a long time. Zayn Shuhorn is 
his way in the faction and got the approval of Roman Reigns and Jimmy Uso. While it took him time to win over Jey Uso, the two men became very close. He had to turn on Zayn when the latter betrayed Reigns reluctantly. Sami faced Roman for the Universal Championship at Elimination Chamber 2023 but came up short. Even after Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens defeated Jey and Jimmy Uso at WrestleMania 39 for the tag team titles, the former always cared for Jey Uso. He tried to make the right-hand man understand that Reigns was manipulating him. Now with Jey Uso finally standing against the tribal chief, Sami Zayn could be right by his side to prevent anyone from stealing his glory. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take 